Hey guys, Noel here, and it is Friday night, and uh, the World Series is going on. We are in the ninth inning, and I thought it would be fun to do a video game review for the video game section of the channel while we watch uh, one of two teams battle for supremacy in Major League Baseball. One is the sixth team that Bobby Bonilla has played on. The other is tied for my second favorite team with the Baltimore Orioles. Behind the New York Mets, which is my first favorite team. So we are rooting for the Boston Red Sox, although I do have a lot of love for the uh, Dodgers as well. So what game are we going to be reviewing tonight on the channel? Well, since it is the World Series, I thought it would only be appropriate for us to review World Series Baseball for the Sega Saturn. This is one of my favorite sports games. We don't review very many sports games on the channel. Uh, I played this game a lot when I was in seventh grade when the... Uh, Baltimore Orioles were robbed by uh, the Cheater Jeter in the 1996 New York Yankees with that long fly ball that was erroneously counted as a home run, denying Bobby Bonilla, Cal Ripken, and the Baltimore Orioles their rightful place as World Series champions. So let's try to right that wrong by playing some World Series baseball, although with World Series baseball we have the 1994 rather than 95 rosters, meaning that Bobby Bonilla will be on the New York Mets, the team that he should be on and is continuing to pay him to this day because he's that good and New York fans are jerks. So uh, let's check out some World Series baseball. So let's turn our volume up like so. Move our speakers closer. Get our lights. Grab our controller and play some World Series baseball. Or as this game was known in Japan, Hideo Nomo Baseball, the famous Japanese pitcher for the LA Dodgers. I actually ordered Hideo Nomo Baseball off of eBay and it never came in the mail. Uh, and truth be told, this is actually my second copy of World Series Baseball because my first copy of World Series Baseball was lost because apparently I misbehaved at some point. My mom hit it on me and then lost it. Terrible, terrible it happened to me when I was a teenager. Uh, so let's play some World Series Baseball. And for I don't know what's going on, the lithium battery in my Sega Saturn is dying or if I just put the wrong um, memory cartridge in the back of it, so you won't be able to save our games on this. But we see World Series Baseball has a variety of different modes we can play, ranging from exhibition, which is what we're going to be doing now. This is just if you want to pick up and play a casual game. Pennant Race, which has a fantastic video montage ending of all kinds of um, baseball uh, World Series victories from the 80s through 90s. Uh, great, great stuff. And for that pennant race, you can play anywhere between, I think, 13 to 162 games. And we have uh, playoffs, um, all-star game, home run derby, uh, and our options menu. Now, the cool thing about your options is um, you can uh, set this on different levels. So for the purposes of this review, we'll uh, do this nice and easy. We'll put it on rookie. Um, let's leave errors on, wind on, uh, the designated hitter. Um, uh, we'll leave that on. Um, we'll put it to three innings. We'll do a quick game. This can obviously go up to nine innings. Um, but for the purposes of, the, of this review, we'll do three. If you want to do a really quick um, pennant race, you can just set it to one inning and just zip through it. It's really fun. Um, but if you really want to do a long, drawn-out thing, set it to nine and have some fun. Um, we have four uh, Major League Baseball parks in this, and we'll take a look at those as soon as we pick our teams. We're going to play the computer, and we will be the greatest team ever, the 1994-95 uh, New York Mets. And we will play the evil New York Yankees, the entitled New York team that uh, whose smug attitude and giant... Uh, uh, payroll uh, makes them super insufferable, but nevertheless, you have to respect their accomplishments, what with George Costanza working for them and all. So we can play in Fenway, Astrodome, Wrigley Field, or in Yankee Stadium. Uh, since the Red Sox are my second favorite team tied with the Baltimore Orioles, and I love going to Boston, and I love going to Fenway, uh, we will play in Fenway. And now let's play in night game since it is night time. And uh, let's get some gameplay going here. And we see our lineup, and this takes me way back. I remember watching WOR Mets games, and uh, this lineup is burned into my head. And uh, Brett Butler, the bump master, Jose Vizcaino, the shortstop, Rico Bronia, uh, the 
Big Bat, who is a... Uh, you know, back and forth with Bobby Bonilla and Jeff Kent as the top hitter on the team. Bobby Bonilla, the leader of the team. Jeff Kent, uh, the second baseman. Joe Orsalak, the uh, working man. Ryan Thompson, the cool black guy with the mustache. Todd Hunley, the catcher before Mike Piazza. And, oh, shoot, me turning on the DH made it so that Brett Saberhagen can't bat. I don't even know who Alfonso is. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, I bet it's because we're playing in an American League park. Okay. And here's the evil New York Yankees with all kinds of people. Um, and uh, I'm sure uh, Paul O'Neill will uh, hit three home runs for a, for a child in the hospital that Kramer promised or whatever that episode of Seinfeld was. It was hilarious. Anyway, so uh, World Series Baseball makes full use of Sega Saturn's full motion video capability. So we get some really nice, uh, vivid 2D cinematic graphics and uh, some really nice uh, 3D imagery for the baseball field. And here we see it. Uh, and I want to tell you, I am not good at this game. I used to be really good at it, but uh, not so much anymore. The windup. Perfect bunt. All right. Brett Butler used to do that all the time. All right. Jose Vizcaino. Jose Vizcaino. No outs and one runner on base. Ball hit between first. All right. Maybe I'm doing good at this game. Go, Brett. Go. Go home. I'm gonna. I'm gonna push it here. All right. One nothing. Now batting. Rico Bronya. No outs with a runner on first. Ball hit to Ah, uh, it's a pop up. Hold up, hold up. No, don't go back. Man, idiot. I gotta work on my base running. Um oh here we go. This is the man. Let's all take a second and be awed by his presence. No balls and one strike. It's okay, Bobby. Take it. Take, let's take a timeout here. Alright, so uh Fun thing about this game, uh, if you want to throw, you will use the D-pad. Uh, right will be first base, up will be second, left will be third, down will be home. And since it's been a while since I've played this game, um, I'm thinking, um, I know that B is run, um, and I didn't know how to hold up on my base runner, so sorry about that. Ooh, tipped it foul. All right, Bobby, come on. Ah, oh, no good. Well, his charisma more than uh, makes up for his strikeout. So, so Brett Saberhagen was my favorite uh, pitcher when I was in elementary school, so he will be pitching right now. Uh, now, your uh, shoulder buttons will determine uh, which direction your pitcher is when he throws the ball. C will throw the ball, and you can angle it in all kinds of different directions with the D-pad. Holding down on the D-pad will make you throw the ball more quickly. Very nice. Now batting, Wade Boggs. One out and nobody on. Wade Boggs, former Boston Red Sox, and I just beamed him with that pitch there. Now batting. The announcer is uh, very enjoyable to listen to on this game. That umpire is super loud, though. I don't mind him, but I, uh, I've got a baby sleeping upstairs and a wife, so. Yeah, be careful here. Uh, one of my favorite ways to pitch is to m is try to angle it down and away from the hitter, and you can usually get them to chase the ball. So uh, let's see if uh, we have any better luck with the uh, second inning here. So we can clearly move the batter around with the D-pad. And I really like how the camera zooms out when you hit the ball. Now, when I bought this game originally, I thought it was going to be like the Sega Genesis World Series Baseball, which had a very cool angle. Um, you basically were, the camera was very, very tight in the batter box. And um, that's what I thought this game was look, would look like. 
Uh, and when it looked more like a conventional baseball game, I was a little disappointed, but then I started playing it and realized I really like how this looks quite a bit. It actually reminds me a lot of uh, Tommy Lasorda Baseball, which was a great launch title on uh, the Sega Genesis. And uh, I can't remember the Japanese name of that game. I think it was called Super League. Uh, Time of the Sort of Baseball had some really good music, though. This game doesn't have any in-game music, which is a little disappointing. Damn. That's no good. Actually, there's something pretty familiar with the 94-95 Mets. <laughs> they were like a third-fourth place team at best, so... Sometimes they flirted with a second place at the start of the season. Don Mattingly. All right. Uh, Don Mattingly, the evil captain of the Yankees, with his sideburns that uh, drive Mr. Burns crazy. And to chase that nonsense pitch there, see if we can do it again. Yep. Now batting, Mike Stanley. So, this game is really nice for a quick, relaxing game of baseball. Oh, what? thought I was under that. I'm terrible at fielding on this game, too, so this could get ugly in a hurry. Oh, man, it's getting uglier by the second. Tony <laughs> Fernandez. Please don't tie the game. All right, man, that was a horrendous pitch that he chased right there. So let's see if we can get out of this inning alive here. Yeah, it wised up to that. All right, we got one inning. If we can get through this, the Mets will win the World Series. Not really. They'll they'll win in, at World Series baseball in a three inning exhibition game, which at this point is I about think about the best the Mets can hope for right now in real life. Todd Hundley was great. He was a really good catcher. Mike Piazza's legacy overshadowed him, but Hundley was a really good catcher for the Mets. Come on, get out of there. Uh, I love uh, the Sega Saturn logos in the background of this game. Ah, uh, chase that nonsense. I'm, I'm always too eager when I uh, play baseball games. I'm just kind of like, yeah, nothing to lose. Wow, right to uh, second base there. Now, I could try to lay a really good bunt down here, but... I don't know. With two outs, that could be tricky. Well, now this has pretty much eliminated my bunt options. Ah. Chipped it right to first. All right. We should probably bring in John Franco to close this game out here. Now batting. So we will player change and we will go down to Brett Saberhagen and we will bring in John Franco and that will be it. John Franco, the legendary Mets closer who is, uh, catch that, catch it! Ah, oh, man, I'm really not good at fielding on this game. And it's easy too, I'm just not good at it. All right, one down, two to go. Wade Boggs, one out and nobody on. No balls and one strike. Pretty sure Wade Boggs was in an episode of Cheers. I ate under Sam Malone's jersey when I went into Boston. It was fantastic. All right, last man. One more out remaining. No balls and one strike. All right, let's finish him off. Finally. 
Ah, I love hearing that. So uh, let's take a look at our post-game stats here. Let me get some uh, nice 90s dance music, reminiscent of the CNC Music Factory. So Brett Saberhagen gets the win, John Franco gets the save, and McDowell takes the L. And that, my friends, is World Series Baseball for the Sega Saturn. A game you can crank the difficulty way down on and uh, take a break from watching the World Series, which is uh, tied in the ninth inning. So I'm going to see if the uh, Red Sox can uh, pull out a winner if we're going to stay up late and watch some extra innings, which is another baseball game we have to review. We have to review extra innings on the Super Nintendo. So until next time, guys, my name is Noel. You take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.